Good afternoon, everybody. Frankie here with an update on what exactly is going on in Congress here. A new new $1,000 uh, stimulus check proposal from Republicans. Yes. And we also have um, breaking news with Sweden and Finland uh, joining NATO. Um, this could be good and bad because this is exactly what Putin was warning against. So... Um, he's been following through with the attacks in Ukraine. We all know this is going on. Um, but I really want to talk about the potential for stimulus here in the United States with really high inflation, high gas prices, um, high food prices. Just, it's crazy, right? You've been to the store, you know it. You've been to the gas station, you know it. It's hurting for certain. Um, so from Republican side, we have one senator here. Uh, from the Republican side, and it doesn't doesn't mean it's just him alone that is supporting this idea. It's just his proposal um, is supporting a one thousand dollar stimulus check to all Americans amid the aid to Ukraine, um, because forty billion dollars just last week was sent to Ukraine. He's a little bit wrong when he says this, though. He does say that $40 billion would pay for a $1,000 stimulus check for everybody. That's not true. There's 332 million people in this country. Um, so a thousand to send $1,000 out to everybody, that would equal about $332 billion. So much more than $40 uh, billion. But if you add all the aid up that we've given to Ukraine could probably equal that um if not it's going to be soon so let me know your thoughts on this should we get a thousand dollar stimulus check out to all americans now and just just because of the way inflation and gas prices are um do you think that's a good call on the republicans there or do you think that the aid to ukraine takes precedence over the aid to the people of the United States. You gotta let me know what you think here because it's kind of a catch-22. You, you want the help, right? Ukraine, we need the help. They're our ally. We get it. But at the same time, alongside that, why not take the $800 billion that's sitting in this pet previous stimulus funds to send out a couple of stimulus checks? Why not do that? Because if it costs $332 billion dollars to send out a thousand dollars to everybody in the United States then you could pay for basically two of those checks with 800 billion dollars a little more than two checks so why not split it up send a check out to everybody repurpose the other half send it to Ukraine that's my thoughts that's just my thoughts on it you know everybody's got their own opinion I am not a Republican or a Democrat I side with both of them I'm, a, I'm independent. I, I'm realistic here. Uh, just seeing things how they really are. Not uh, wish casting or anything like that. Like a lot of people like to do. But yes, this is a new proposal for a $1,000 stimulus check. We'll see how far it goes. And it might. it's going to take a few weeks for this to even be, this bill to even be written if it's even written. You know what I'm saying? It's one Republican senator. Um, but that's, that's the breaking news. It's a Republican calling for a $1,000 stimulus check. So you can let me know what you think in the comments. Um, that's the latest information, and it's all I have for today. But I'll be back on later um, in the week, probably a lot later in the week, um, probably Thursday or Friday, with further information on this and also Social Security raises. Um, that's going to be a big thing coming up here, uh, possibly a big raise with Social Security, not only the COLA raise next beginning of next year, but possibly a uh, one to two hundred dollar raise on top of that with the twenty one or Social Security twenty one hundred Act. So I'll have more information on that later this week. But for now that's all I have. Thanks for watching everybody and have a great afternoon.